Right, good afternoon everybody, my name is Paul from a company called Kent Pack Testing and today I'm going to show you through um, the IEC, I'm going to talk to you about the IEC lead anyway uh, the standard kettle lead as you can see, we've got a plug on one end which goes into the socket in the wall and we've got a plug on the other end which goes into the socket of a PC or a monitor or various other things anyway, so that is what we find a standard IEC lead and what I'm going to show you now is what we call a counterfeit IEC lead now at first look it looks perfectly normal plug that goes in the wall and plug that goes into the monitor or PC or other appliance so the first thing we do is we go into the fuse and we open up the fuse. Try and do this one handed. Which I can't. Right, so we take the fuse out. Okay, so here we have the fuse which has come out. And there it has the BS1362 number on it. But to me, it doesn't actually look that good. It looks a little bit smaller than normal and it doesn't really look that it kind of lacks a little bit of quality control anyway so with me here I actually have a Asta approved 13 amp fuse now, as you can see very clearly must apologize for that that there is a slight difference in size which would say that the one on the right hand side is a counterfeit fuse okay right so that's the fuse that's what's been supplied with that particular lead and now we look at the plug itself and luckily we have a nice white background here Right, as you can see, standard on the British standard plugs is the insulation sleeving around the live and the neutral pins. But unfortunately on this one, we actually have insulation sleeving around the earth pin, as we see there. Sorry about the shadow, it's the phone and the light. So, that bit there to a British standard plug when carrying earth should be fully metal like that one as you can see on a lead I'm just about to grab here is this one is actually a plastic pin for the earth full stop but this is only a standard figure of eight which only carries live and neutral electricity it does not need to carry an earth whatsoever so British standard allows a plastic pin on that one so back to this one then as you can see half metal half plastic yeah, it does actually say on there which we cannot see that it is it does say British standard and approved by STGD whoever they are but there we go anyway so there we have it the counterfeit IEC lead and what I'm actually going to do is I have another one here that I have pre-cut which came from this plug which looks all pretty standard uh, this one actually hasn't got sleeving around the earth pin but upon opening the fuse holder again what looks like counterfeit 
fuse. Let's put that up against the standard one again so you can see. Can't quite see it, but let's see if we can focus. There we go, look at that. As you can see the difference there. Okay, so that fuse alerted me to that. Which I thought wasn't quite wasn't a hundred percent right. And there we see it has some kind of British standard symbol on it, but I actually don't think that that one is the correct marking. Let me grab the correct one and see if we can find. No, that one actually doesn't have a British standard mark on it. Anyway, I cut said cable and stripped it down to see how much copper was in this cable. And as we can see, it doesn't really look as though there is a lot of cable within there. Let me just see if I can grab a tape measure. Sorry about the shaky video. Very difficult to do one handed. Right, so there we go. There's a bit of cable there. As we can see, it's within a one millimeter. But again, it still doesn't really look as though it's a huge amount of cable so what I'm going to do is the one that I showed you just a second ago which is the correct cable is actually rated to 10 amps there we go as we can see what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and then strip it so I'm going to get my cutters okay We see the copper cable. And I'm now going to strip the cable. And there we have it. Looks like there's a lot more cable than that one. As we can see there, that is almost nearly two millimetres worth of cable there compared to the other one, which was a lot less than almost like half a millimeter and apparently this plug was rated at 13 amps so it should have a lot more cable in it than the 10 amp one sorry about this cable slide about everywhere so let's get the two together and show you what I mean okay there we go so one counterfeit up against one not counterfeit cable so there we go guys um, just a quick video for the time actually that's no, nearly 10 minutes long sorry about that um, but there we go that's the difference between a real IEC lead and what we call a counterfeit if you need any more information on these counterfeit plugs uh, please visit the website www.bs1362.org.uk and it should be look a little bit like that. Okay, thanks for your time everybody. Appreciate your comments and we'll see you soon. Cheers, goodbye.